Good morning, everyone. Good morning, YouTube. It's your girl, T. Milan. I'm back with another video. I know my hair looking crazy because I just washed it, so ignore that. But I got some quick morning inspiration um, to all my nail techs out there that are semi-new and starting in a shop. You are going to get clients that is just not going to mesh well with you, okay? Um, and I got a story for y'all. I know I'm jumping into the video pretty quickly because I'm driving right now, but I got a story for y'all. So yesterday, I'm, I, I'm, okay, I've been doing nails for a little while now, but I still consider myself new because there are always things that I feel like I need to improve on. And I don't have five years in it. Like I'm, I'm not even that far into it. But anyway, so yesterday I was at work or whatever, and towards the end of the day i had this lady come in so i believe i did this lady nails probably about two and a half weeks ago and if i remember from when i did her nails i did a refill on her she had so much lifting i basically did a full set on her and if you know nail text when you go do a refill whatever pieces that are sticking up or you know lifting you have to um you have to sand off that piece. You got to drill those pieces off before you lay the new acrylic down. She has so much lifting. I basically did a full set. She could have been charged for a full set. But that's rather here nor there. So I did her nails. I would say maybe about two, two and a half weeks ago. She comes in yesterday in a shop. And she's like, her nails is, she acting weird. She act, I'm the only one in the shop. So anybody that come in here got to come to me. It's the only one working yesterday. Um, the owner normally comes in a little bit later on and then you know if if everybody is working and more customers come in the owner will take customers but for referral she don't really want to take customers obviously but uh, she normally comes in towards the end of the day so anyway I'm in here by myself the girl walks in well not by myself me and the receptionist she walk in she talked to the receptionist her energy from the time she walked in was just off like you ever like somebody walk in a room and their energy just off her energy was just off and she walk in the room whatever whoop, whoop, whoop. she talking to the receptionist i'm i mean i'm i'm within earshot distance but she acting like she don't want to come sit in my chair that's fine you don't have to come sit people be trying to do this whole thing listen it ain't got to be awkward hey sis you did my nose last time. I want somebody else to do my nose this time. That's fine. I no sweat off my shoulder. But anyway, she wanted to get her so her set soaked off, and she wanted to do something else. So, um, somebody else came in. Another woman came in after her. Now, mind you, this first woman was so her energy was so off that her off energy rubbed off on the other person, and the other person she hadn't been in that salon in a while since the old employees were there and then she see new employees there so she now she's reluctant for me to do her nose as well like it just was it was nasty like energy negative energy sometimes hops on one person into another and it just was nasty but anyway so the lady hesitating sitting in the waiting little waiting area whatever she don't want to sit in my chair i'm like i straight up ask her like do you want me to do your nails or not you know you want to wait for the next person because if not i'm going to take the the other lady oh well you can soak these off da, 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 da. and she was like well i think i want dip on my nails i don't want to do acrylics anymore i said okay that's fine i could do dip it doesn't matter so you know she reluctantly sits in my chair i start her on her soak so the owner was like five minutes away i'm texting her like hey i got this client that's coming in i really don't want to do her nails she's kind of making like little comments she don't really want me to do her nails when you come in can you do her nails? she said yeah i'll come and do the nails just do the other person's start with the other person's pedicure so i'm fine cool i started getting my stuff together because the lady sitting there hands is in the acetone she's soaking and um i start doing the other person pedicure the owner walks in i said oh yeah she's going to take you um, but the lady, like I said, when I looked at the nails, so back up a little bit. When I looked at the lady's nails, um, before I put her hands in the acetone, she had three missing nails. She had like two lifting nails. Y'all, this is the worst I've ever seen somebody knows that I've done in like two weeks now in a two week, two, two and a half week period. I'm like 
normally if you come in like three weeks you will and i did your nose you will have like lifting i'm not saying like i'm perfect but when i do nails they don't normally pop off and they normally don't lift that bad like it, it'll be lifting to the point where i can like easily drill it off and then refill it but it's never lifting to the point where like you ever see somebody's nail and it's just so lifting so much that they do this that the whole the whole freaking nail this part of the nail by the cuticle area just comes up that's how bad i'm sorry guys i'm driving but that's how bad her lifting is it's like she, you could do this and like this part would lift and i'm just like i've never had like that look like beginner work shit. like i mean beginner beginner like just like i've been doing those for like one week i'm still learning type work and i've never like normally when people come back to me for refills it'll be lifting but not to that capacity just enough for me to drill it off and refill it and they don't even notice that it's, it's lifting her shit was bad so i get why she don't want to come to me but it was just her negative energy rubbed off on me it rubbed off on the other client um you know people are very funny about their nails and some people will allow for a new person to do their nails they'll go to anybody they don't care just as long as it look you know it look okay other people are very very funny their second client she was you could tell she was very very particular about her nose and she was she was a picky person and i don't honestly yeah she was very picky but you know when you come in the shop and you have that type of energy it rubbed off on me it rubbed off on the other client like it was just like nasty like she made me feel so bad and that's normally not how my work comes out like normally um normally like i said after a two week pe period there is some lift or two two and a half to three weeks there is some lifting but not not nails popping off and da -da 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 -da. so anyway she goes i said the owner's gonna take care of you or i said the other lady's gonna take care of you so she goes sit in the other lady table and then she talking about me this is it's a small shot we're all literally arm's length away we hear you oh yeah well she did my nose. i don't know how many times she told her that um she told her that i did her nose she was making sure to, to say she did my nails well she did my nails oh it i just after a week it was just a mess and da -da 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 and blah 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 and i'm not da -da -da -da. and it really did make me feel bad and if you are somebody that's thinking about doing nails or you're new to the nail industry or you still get your nails done by somebody else or if you're just somebody that don't even get your nails done but you're just like a watching nail content be mindful like people have feelings like be mindful the way you handle things you don't need to sit there and talk shit if you don't want to go to that person no more just say you know what i'd rather wait for somebody else this time i like for somebody else to do my nails people can be so rude and like i said we hear her talking shit and so the lady the second lady like i was telling i'm working on her pedicure now she asking me well how long you've been doing nails for now she all skeptical like that that nasty energy filtered into the room i took that home with me and last night like my feelings were hurt and i'm just like oh my god like like I, I i did so bad like i was beating myself up over it and then i woke up this morning and i said you know what no i'm not i'm not going to carry that around with me i'm not going to have that ruin today's energy nail techs just know that everybody is not for you every client is not for you everybody is not for you you're going to win some and you're going to lose some some people don't like the way you shape some people don't like you can you literally cannot please everybody you can't try to please most obviously because you want clients to come back to you but you cannot please everybody it's always going to be somebody that don't like the way you shape they didn't like the way you laid the acrylic they don't like because you took so long they don't like because you did this they don't like oh my god in a week this nail came lifting they every somebody's going to some is going to be somebody out there that's going to nitpick your work and it's going to try to make you feel bad keep going keep going take this as a lesson to improve so now I know for me personally, something that I want to work on is improving around the cuticle area, sealing the cuticle area, really focusing and taking my time when I'm done laying the acrylic and really sealing that cuticle area tightly because I do it, but 
like I said, even with other clients, when they come back in like two to three weeks, they do have lifting, but nothing to their extreme. Like I said, nothing to their extreme. Their nails don't pop off. But I want to master sealing cuticles to the point where when they come back and I remove their gel polish off their nails, there is absolutely no lifting. Not on one darn fingernail. There is no lifting. And that's something that you have to master. There are a lot of intricate things about nails that have to be mastered. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to use her negative energy and I'm going to spin it in a positive way. So now today, when I do somebody's nails, I'm going to make sure that I'm, and from today on, I'm going to make sure I'm focusing on the cuticle area, sealing that cuticle area after I lay that, like really like, being detailed and taking my time and carefully looking up close to the nail and making sure that cuticle area is sealed so that I can see, you know, better results. I don't have no lifting. So anyway, also, and I thought to myself, I'm in the car and I'm, you know, motivating myself like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And I said, you know what? Let me just hop on YouTube. Let me just make a video, a YouTube video. So now her negativity not only did one thing for me, it did two things for me. First of all, it inspired me and it showed me that I have something that I do need to work on um, and improve so I, I can be the best nail tech. And two, it gave me content. It gave me a piece of content. So her negativity turned into two positives from me and I won. Um, yeah. Me being a better nail tech also is going to allow me to. So I'm I'm interested also. I'm I, I'm interested. I, I like doing nails, but at some point I want to get from behind the chair. I'm also interested in starting training. So you know, you go through these negative experiences because it's shaping you to be a better person. How can I teach somebody else? How can I teach people on YouTube? Or how can I teach other people if I'm not going through experiences in myself? So, you know, actually, her negativity turned into three great positive things. One, allowing me to be a better nail tech and focusing on that because that's where I'm lacking it obviously two allowing me to get content out of it and three eventually when i feel confident and ready enough i'm going to start training and this is a point that i can really touch on and this is a testimony that i can talk about during my training classes so i can make a bag off of that period <laughs> so i say all this to say don't allow these clients to make you feel some type of way. Not everybody is going to be for you. People are going to not. You could be the best note taking. Somebody's going to be like, oh, I don't like the way she did that. And she took too long. And she did it. It's just the, it's just the nature of the beast is the name of the game. And it's just how it is. Stay encouraged, no text. Stay motivated. Keep going. No matter if you F up. No matter if you learn from it. And keep going. And that's all I got to say. If you guys don't mind, please like, subscribe to my channel and all those great things. And I do have another video coming up for you guys. I'm going to get that edited and posted. It's a how-to video. I can't remember if it's a refill or a full set. Uh, I can't remember because I recorded it a while ago. But I'll get that um, voiceover and edited and I'll get that posted soon. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.